Hello, this is Howlor ZX, and this is Let's Play Toast of War. Now this is a great game, you can find it on editing games and armor games, and, well, the title feature itself, you're a toast in time of war. It doesn't really explain the storyline too well here, I won't be referring to it. The fact of what it's going to be about doesn't really matter. It's the gameplay. Basically, there's one lo wa long level. Ah, oh, now here, uh, I kind of mess up because my computer wasn't clicked onto the game, so my controls didn't work. So, yeah, I fixed it, but with a uh, loss of health. So, we're going to ignore that. But yeah, basically, it's one long level with two bosses. The first one's way harder. Now, I'll just state right now that I cut out some of the bosses for part of the bosses for time effect and so you don't get bored off your faces. So right, anyway, these are the basic enemies, sticks of butter, you just need to whack them. You have three basic attacks in this game, your head footing, a chainsaw made of a breadstick, and a crossbow, which you get at intervals. Currently we only have the headbutt. The enemy will shoot blobs of butter at you that hurt you, so you've got to dodge that. Now, she's going to hit that button, it explains itself, so she goes down. Right, here's another enemy. As you can see, they're not too hard. And if you've got any skill, you can dodge their attacks. Apart from probably what you're seeing in the, going to see in a second. Look, there's some butter on the floor there. Pointless effects. The, gra the animation in this is really quite nice. You, for a flash game, it's not like this is some big proper game, it's just some internet flash game someone made and put on an internet on the game site so it's pretty decent graphics and you can hit that ah see here we go here's the breadstick chainsaw basically it's a lot more deadly you press space to pick it up and there you go see I can now easily mince these enemies with little trouble to myself I believe I get hurt there yet see because there was like too many of them I couldn't jump that far and now, as you can see, I've clearly just killed them all. Wait, nope, another one. Yeah, this is basically a stride soaring adventure fighter thing. Can't be asked to name it. Right, so. As you can see, we're scrolling this world. Ah, oh, here we are. Toaster. That'll get us up there. Now, we're. Pr here we are. We've got the first boss. Now, the first boss is an arse. Basically, here we go. There's some lovely music in this game, but I have to cut it because I accidentally had my mic on. So we couldn't hear... Ah, see. So you wouldn't want to hear me rambling when I wasn't actually play it, doing it properly. So, this is the narration. Basically, look, that's what you have to do. You have to just stay in that hole and saw him. Well, at least for the first part. So, the first part of this boss is very easy. This is the harder boss, and he really annoys me. I hate him. But this is the harder boss. And this is the beginning bit. The beginning bit, as you can see, is just falling down. It's very easy. Kind of resembling of the Swamp Boss on Mario 64. But you don't hit him on the back, you just slice him. Ah, see, there we go. I skipped all that because it was pointless. Right, now this is the second part. As you can see, he is now bouncing on my head. And so you've got to admit you're going to get hurt. You've got to lose probably about one life unless you're a pro, which I'm not. But as you can see, I'm getting hurt a lot. The tactic here is to stay around his legs, not go too far away from him, so that when he flops like that, see, you can easily get behind him before he hit, falls on top of you. In the first recording I did that failed, uh, I really messed up, lost two lives here, because I used to, and um, used a bad strategy and kept getting hit. But I did it better this time. And as you can see, his health up there is getting quite low. It takes forever to kill the boss in this. There we go, he's dead. End of that one. Now we can continue. There aren't really any set levels in this, it's all just one long level that's got two bosses, as I've already said. There we go, health. Now, health drops in this game are rare. You'll probably find, like, two or three. Yeah, there's about three, maybe four. There's not many, though. Because you don't really need them. The normal enemies won't really hurt you unless you really suck at this game. And there are enough lives, there are two live pickups that we'll get in this at different intervals. You can be sure of that. Yeah. 
I'm not sure if the sound quality is good on this, but we'll have to see. But anyway, yeah, there you go. Now here, this is time. You can hear the ticking if the sound was on. If you want to hear or play this with the full music and everything, go and play it yourself. Just type in editing games, go on adventure, go on alphabetical, and find the T and find Twitter War. There you go. Now we've got the crossbow. This is the second weapon. We now have a range attack. Now, as you can see, there are now butter bats, a new enemy that fly above us, which we have to use the crossbow to kill. There you go. See, that's me. They're pretty, just a one hit to kill, they're not exactly too tough. Now we aim at, this is our toaster boat. Once we kill this. Yep, yeah, and into the toaster boat. Now we find the first of the two lives I mentioned. It is there. So just fire up there, get it. And I popped out just to kill these things, kill them find about. Kill them all in one go, there you go. And on we go. So yeah, that's the first of the two lives. I won't be losing any more. I'll pretty much be owning this game from now on, because the first boss is the only real challenge in this game. So really it's just ten minutes. Ah, now we're going to the cave of annoyance. Yep, that's my name for it. Because basically why it's annoying? Well, this. Yes, that's right, a swarm of butter bats will come. And I can find no way to dodge them. I expect there is a way, but I lack the skill to dodge them. So I am constantly annoyed by getting hit. See, I'm down to like half health and health in a way. Now, I always think you have to hit that. No, you have to hit the nest and set it on fire. But that health reasonably heals me up there. Don't really need that health, but... Ah. Yes, now we send the marble staircase to the boss. I'm assuming it's marble, probably not. The marble column's the real there. Yeah, I just didn't know where that was, it's nothing. Right, now we find the second life. There it is, look. Very easy to get. Now we have to also shoot that door. And this, and that basically shooting that door... I think fully heals you. Something fully heals me, because I'm always full of health when I get here. Whether it's the life that I never noticed, or the door, I don't know. But anyway, yes, welcome to the second boss. Now, this took me five minutes to do. So for time purposes and for your sanity, I have cut this down to only the important bits. So this is basically the strategy. Stay in this damned hole and when he brings his eye out, keep in the damned hole and don't shoot. And then go and shoot his eye. Pop up and shoot, stand, pop up on the ledge and shoot his eye. That's the strategy. Just keep shoot. otherwise keep just jumping up and shooting it. Just make sure you dot, when the eye comes you stop jumping because otherwise you'll get hit with a laser. As I will demonstrate later. It's only other attack that he does unless you go and permanently attack him. <coughs> is, he, shoots an energy ball. Right, here we go. That transition effect there, to entertain you, and now, this is a demonstration of what will happen if you do hit, get hit by a laser. There you go, see? See that? Took off half my health. So, yeah. Don't get hit by the laser, or you will flipping get killed. Well, I got hit right there. I mean, I suppose I mean don't get hit by the laser twice, or don't get hit by the laser and then take lots of hits. You shouldn't take a lot of hits, though, because this boss is easy. Despite being the second boss. There you go. Easy as hell. Now, sometimes, you probably saw earlier, when you jump, when he reveals his eye, just immediately put it back down before you get a chance to shoot it. So you just gotta figure it out. As you can see, his health is slowly going down. But you can see why I cut this. It's so slow. You can get an estimate of how long the eye cut from how much life he lost. Now I will say I did make another blunder uh, in a minute that will demonstrate another thing you should never do. Notice I am using only the cross, pure the crossbow here. I'm not using either of my my chainsaw or my headbutting. And there's a flipping reason for that. Because, notice them, because you'll quite clearly see in a second what will happen if you do. Now, I must admit, the detection thing with this boss is really lame. You can, like, you get, look, notice now I've got basically, I've basically got all his health down, he's got no health left, yet still he's alive. Yeah, you're just supposed to keep hitting him with the crossbow until he admits he's dead. But I went stupidly with the chainsaw, and this is what happens. See, 
he will just smash you with his head. So don't do that. It doesn't hurt as much as, you know, the laser, but it still hurts. So just keep shooting him like that, look. And eventually he'll go mental and admit he's dead by flashing red. Then go in with the, then go in with the chainsaw and finish him. And that's it. That's the end of the game. So yeah. Thanks for watching. This has been Hal the X and I hope you stay tuned to my latest videos. Goodbye.